Debo Samuel working out with DeAndre Hopkins and Saquon Barkley. Yeah. Uh, some of the best players in the league. You think this is significant? What do you think this means about Debo's fitness and mindset? Oh, man, I, I love this. I think, I think Debo's put a lot of pressure on himself in a good way. Good. The way that he's been talking about the Philadelphia Eagles and still to this day is talking about the Philadelphia Eagles, that he, he has to show out not only for that game, but for the season. You can't call a player like Bradbury, who is one of the better corners in the league, regardless of what 49ers want to say about him. He was one of the better corners last year. Mm -hmm. You can't just say that guy is trash or garbage or whatever and then come out and not be good this year because it's not just Bradbury and the Eagles that are listening. It's other teams. And mm -hmm. if you aren't able to hold your own in those games, you're going to hear it from everybody. There's you're a Jaylen lot of Ramsey. trash talkers. Yeah, Jalen Ramsey, exactly. Jalen Ramsey, so, yeah. I, I love that he's put this pressure on himself, and I love even more that it seems like he's stepping up to that pressure. He's welcoming that pressure and working out with guys like Hopkins and Saquon Barkley, not only to me says, hey, you're very serious, but these are two guys that came back last year from very serious injuries. So what that tells me is mm. whoever they are working with knows how to preserve their career and fight through injury and, and prevent injuries in the future. That's something that Debo Samuel can benefit from. This is a guy who's been frequently you know, injured, whether it's a game or two here or there, but he misses games. He has these weird hamstring pulls or... He's not necessarily yeah. in the best shape. This, whoever this trainer is that's training these other two, I've got to imagine, has this under control a bit. And so it's not only like he's going to be in really good shape, but he's probably going to be fit to make it through a whole season, which would be really nice to see as well. Well, if that's the case, then he should once again be one of the best players in the league. Because what happened with Debo last year was he held out. He came into camp overweight. I mean, he didn't say it, but I saw it with my eyes. He was overweight. He was a double Debo with cheese. I'm sorry. <laughs> and he thought he could work his way into shape, which he could have. But what happens is you get hurt. Yep. And then you miss time. And then you come back. And you, didn't, you haven't worked your way into shape. And you're always constantly trying to work your way into shape. And then you get hurt. And then you start back at square one. And he just wasn't himself. He wasn't good last year. He was not good last year. But he wasn't really himself. If he can just get to camp in shape, then he won't pull his hamstring. He won't get hurt. He won't have setbacks. He'll be dominant. And if he's dominant... You know Christian McCaffrey's going to be in great shape. You know Kittle's going to be in great shape. You know Ayuk's going to be in great shape. Too bad it's, it's all about 2024, though. Well, also, I would say this for Debo. This year's a really big year for him. I know that he's got his, his contract, but the 49ers actually have an out after the 2024 season. So if he mm -hmm. wasn't good last year and isn't good this year, they're probably going to take that out after 2024. Oh, yeah. Or... If he's really good again this year, he becomes a guy that they look at and say, hey, Debo, can we restructure? Add an extra year onto your deal. Now you're creating that longevity for yourself. You're getting even more money. So I think this year is actually very crucial for Debo Samuel to show out. Even though it's not necessarily a contract year, it's still a bit of a prove-it year in the sense that the 49ers have wiggle room if they want it. Yeah, and it's not just like, hey, do better or you're out. It's like, dude, have some pride. You, you, yeah. What you did in 2021, and people were comparing you to Jerry Rice. Come on, you can be that good. Why would you not put express yourself like that every year? Like 2022 was a throwaway year. 2020 was a throwaway year it, because of the same things. Um, this is you're what are you 26? Is he 26? Almost 27? So yeah. Dude, yeah. don't sacrifice another one. This is it. This is it for you. I don't, and it's not about your next contract or whatever. Like it's about you have the opportunity to be one of the all-time greats. Do you want that, or or do you just want to be the guy who said I had a great season this one time, and then you know I had injuries, or you know we were gonna beat the Eagles, and I was gonna be great, I was gonna be a Hall of Famer and a Super Bowl champion, it just never came around, it never happened. Don't be that guy. Yeah, don't be. Percy and unblock Harvin. me from Twitter. Actually, I don't care. <laughs> don't be Percy Harvin. Don't be Percy. No, Harvin. don't be Percy Harvin. And I, I think that Debo, Debo obviously thinks very highly of himself. He's very confident in himself. So Good. it's like, all right, just go out and, and do what you know you can do. And, and yeah. I think, I, you know, with Christian McCaffrey here, there's definitely some traits that they each have. And I think Christian McCaffrey overall is probably the better player. He's proven it for longer. However, 
if He's Debo Samuel too. can be a 1300 yard a, a year guy instead of 18, I mean, this offense takes a whole different level. Even compared to last year, they could be a 35, 36 point a, a game team when they're on with Debo Samuel and Christian McCaffrey both clicking. Also, they don't need him to weigh 225, 220. Yeah. Like, he should be 215 tops. You're, he's a wide receiver. All that, yeah. like, they don't really need him to play running back anymore. They got Christian McCaffrey, Jordan Mason, Elijah Mitchell. They're good. I mean, Trey Lance can carry the ball a little bit. They maybe an end, go back to being whatever he weighed as a rookie or, le, or lighter. The lighter, the better. You're getting older. You can't afford any more soft tissue injuries. Go 210. I mean, Jerry Rice was 6'2, 210. You're 5'11 and a half. I, I, I I think that would help because it might make him a better wide receiver. Forget the wide back stuff. That's over. Got you paid. It's not going to keep you in. The, it's not going to give you longevity. You need to play wide receiver now. Yeah, five eleven, two ten. I mean, you're still thick. Still thick. <laughs> you're With big like four C's. Still, so. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Not, not like six C's and a K at the end. Also, definitely not. <laughs>